a very warm welcome to you. Indeed, this is the international service of Adventist World Radio in English from Pune. Join us on our special musical program. We have music coming to you from heritage singers, celestial singers and family reunion concert singers. You'll hear short continued messages between each song. A Bible theme for today is Do you know and confess that you are a sinner? I'm Anita. I'm Sharad. And you're listening to Adventist World Radio, The Voice of Hope. Friends, a little girl was heard to pray, Oh God, bless Harry and make him as good as I am. No wonder that Carol was led to say that the greatest of faults is to be conscious of none. Do you know that you are a sinner? If we say yes, that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 For there is no man that sinneth not. 1 Kings 8, 46 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans three twenty three. You know that you are a sinner, but have you confessed that you are one? Confess your faults to one another is the scriptural injunction to us. Many there are who in spiritual life find it hard to break through their reserve and openly confess that they are sinners. Are you conscious of your sinful condition? It's a wonderful day. Here's a song by Heritage Singers. Sin is destruction. Ever remember that wages of sin is death? He that pursueth evil, pursueth it to his own death. Proverbs eleven nineteen. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Ezekiel 8, 4. A famous Scottish preacher was taking a holiday in the Isle of Skye in the Western Hebrides. He was having a great time and thought how lovely it was to be so far away from the noise and sin of this great city. But he was soon to see, even among such peaceful and beautiful country surroundings, that strange and evil things happen. You are listening to The Voice of Hope from Pune, India. Another song by Heritage Singer is Nearer Still Nearer. Nearer still. Oh, 
One morning, he was out amid the hills enjoying the exquisite scenery, when near him there arose a great eagle on its shining wings. He watched it fly away, up, up, toward the sky until it became a speck. Taking out his field glasses, he watched the eagle fly beyond where the naked eye could see it. Wonderful, he thought. Powerful, majestic bird. But what was that? That was happening now. The great bird is falling. Beak over the tail, it descends. Ah, it has righted up itself again, and is flying upward. Dear me, again it is coming down. Yet again it tried to right up itself. This happened two or three times, and the last time it seems to be successful in its upward course. But lo! Look at it now; it is coming down. Will it not find its wings again? Down, down, down! It continued to come down, and at length crashed upon a huge rock, just near the place from which it had risen. What possibly could be the cause of its downfall? Let's continue to hear the story right after a song. Celestial singers, we going to fly. Trumpet will sound, and Christ will appear. We'll rise to meet Him in the sky. We're gonna fly, fly away to heaven. We're gonna fly, fly away to heaven. We're gonna fly away. See my sinful life again. I'm gonna fly away to heaven like an angel to the mansion. Never gonna see my sinful life again. And all the friends who died will rise from the grave to behold the King. And the faithful of God will fly with Christ as He takes them to paradise. We're gonna fly, fly away to heaven. We're gonna fly, fly away to heaven. We're gonna fly. Like an angel. 
From underneath the battered body of the eagle, there scurried a weasel, a small animal noted for its bloodthirstiness. The eagle had started out on its flight with the weasel clutched tight in its talons for eagles are carnivorous birds. No doubt the eagle's intention was to drink the weasel's blood when it was way up above the clouds. So the eagle had carefully lain in wait for the weasel to come from among the rocks and when it did the eagle talons closed around it and carried it off it was a great mistake for the eagle to start off with a sinner's creature in its keeping when it least thought of the its danger the eagle was taken by surprise the captured weasel gave a sudden squeam and worked itself free from the clutches of the eagle Fighting in mid-air, the animal was able to bite his captor's throat and drink his blood. This so weakened the great bird in spite of many attempts it made to free itself. It was overcome and dropped it to its doom. Coming up next is a song by Heritage Singers, Power in the Blood. Many young men and maidens whose lives looked promising of success and as fair as the upward flight of that eagle at the Isle of Skye have been brought to nothing but destruction. Why, you ask? Because they started out with something akin to a weasel in their keeping. Some bad habits, some selfish thoughts, some purely greedy ambition— all the strength that would have carried them up above the clouds and dangers was drawn away by this evil thing in their grip. St. Paul understood this fact with all its dangers and illusions when he said, Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us. Therefore, with all this host of witnesses encircling us, we must strip off every handicap, strip off sin with its clinging folds, to run over a pointed course with steadiness, our eyes fixed upon Jesus as the pioneer and the perfection of faith. Hebrews 12 verses 1 and 2. You are listening to a musical program on Adventist World Radio. Not least, but the last song on our program is by Family Reunion Concert Singers entitled We Are on the Edge of Glory. Just look all around us, the signs. 
Dear listeners, therefore, with all this host of witnesses encircling us, we must strip off every handicap, strip off sin with its clinging folds to run our appointed course with steadiness, our eyes fixed upon Jesus as the pioneer and the perfection of faith. To quote the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, Imitate me, just as I imitate Christ, and holding himself up as a pattern, he wrote in Philippians, The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Pray then that like Paul we may live out our saving faith before the watching world. Your 
sins of wickedness. For the Lord God, the Son, is sealed in best of favor and honor. No good thing does the Lord withhold from those who walk uprightly. Holy. brings us to the end of our musical program but those of you who want to learn more on god's word are welcome to write to us on adventist world radio post box number 17 pune 411001 maharashtra india that is adventist world radio post box number 17 pune 411 001 Maharashtra India You could also email us on amc3 at vsnl.com That's amc3 at vsnl.com I'm Anita and I'm Sharad signing out from Adventist World Radio Do join us again Until then we wish you a goodbye and God bless you 